Voters in West Suburban Hinsdale hit the polls after significant cuts to school sports and activities were on the line. Now they passed a $140 million referendum to keep those programs alive. CBS 2's Eric Cox is live outside Hinsdale South High School ahead of a meeting to decide what's next for District 86. Eric. Hey, good morning to you, Mike. Good morning, Aaron. Uh, the football field for Hinsdale South is directly across the street from where I am right now. And the students here at this school were facing a future where that field would have been of little use to them in the near future. But that all changed for them last night. With this referendum passing, I'm learning that they will now uh, have their school board coming out here to the school at 6 o'clock tonight, sitting down in the cafeteria to begin discussing plans to reverse some of those cuts that they approved back in December. Now, I want you guys to take a look at this video. We have some VO of Chopper 2 in the air above the school as the young demonstrators marched on Monday. Those students protesting these cuts. They're probably pretty pleased with last night's results, though. Among the programs once expected to be trimmed, football, swimming, cheerleading, and band. Out of the nearly 24,000 ballots that were cast, about 60% of voters were in favor of this referendum. The roughly $140, $140 million will go towards making both Hinsdale South and Central more accessible to people with disabilities, adding more lighting, as well as installing new safety equipment. Now, the average home value here in the village of Hinsdale is about $460,000. And with this new referendum now passing, I'm learning that the average homeowner will have to pay about $260 more per year in property taxes, that money going to the district. We're live in Hinsdale this morning. Eric Cox, CBS2 News.